Welcome back. In this episode, you'll see how to add a Tailwind UI marketing landing page to a Rails application. We've already got Devise set up for authentication. Here we are on the Tailwind UI page. Again, this is a paid, uh, a paid set of components, but we can come over here and find a landing page. There's a whole bunch of different landing pages. Uh, I like to use this one down here that looks like very beautiful. I love these blues. I don't know, something about it is just great. So we're gonna come back over to our Rails application and recall that we already have a static pages controller that is rendering on the, the root route for our Rails app. Now here, I'm gonna just drop in all of the HTML that we received from the Tailwind UI template. Now there's a couple different things that it's suggesting that we update inside of our Tailwind config. So we'll jump over to Tailwind config and we could extend our theme with some colors. And also it is suggesting that we install another plugin. So what I'm gonna do is open up our Tailwind config and here inside of the plugins, we've got a new plugin that it suggests. So one is called aspect ratio. And now it wants to say theme um, and it wants us to extend the theme so that it has colors, which are teal, colors.teal, and cyan, cayenne, cyan. How do you say that? Leave a comment <laughs> below and tell me how you say this word. Is that like, how do you pronounce that? Maybe link to a video of you saying that. I am curious, cayenne, cyan, all right. So this also requires that we are importing the Tailwind CSS colors. Um, this is gonna be kind of like two packages that we have to install. One is this Tailwind CSS aspect ratio, the other Tailwind CSS colors. As soon as I save this file, the server is gonna crash, right? Because we are now using packages that don't exist yet. So the server the server failed, it says we don't know what you're talking about with this aspect ratio thing. So I'm gonna say npm install and drop in this Tailwind CSS aspect ratio. It's gonna say the same thing I think about Tailwind CSS colors, but I'm not 100% sure. So we'll try npm install Tailwind CSS colors. Uh, okay, maybe that comes by default. Let's say bin dev, we'll restart the server and now we are back in action. So let's go to our landing page and refresh and now we have a beautiful landing page. It's just so, so nice, oh my gosh, okay. There's a bunch of things at the top here that we're going to probably remove. So the first, I'm gonna just go through and edit all of the links that are in the navigation, in the top navigation, and we're just gonna remove them all. We'll have one that goes to dashboard. The other thing we wanna do is update this button and this link so that they actually work with Devise, which we installed in the last episode. So let's jump over here. We're gonna remove all of this content that was from the comment and let's jump into it. All right, so we have a few different menus here. The first, we're gonna just navigate to some fantasy dashboard that does not exist yet, fantasy-driven development. So we're linking off to the dashboard. Now for our login button, we want this to go to slash user slash sign in. And for our sign up, we want it to go to user slash sign up. Now at the end of this, the button, the actual content of the button says start free trial, but we're just gonna say register and we'll call that good. So now we have a login button or a login link that brings us to login. Oh, we're already logged in. We also have a register link that brings us to uh, register. We're already registered. Notice this is also kind of annoying, right? That it's just like at the top, but we'll deal with that uh, at some later date. Okay, so if we're already signed in, which we are, then what we wanna do is something a little different with these buttons, right? We wanna hide them and instead, maybe we show a logout button and we should show per perhaps like the name or the email address of the person who is logged in. So here what we can do is say, if user signed in, then we're gonna do something. Otherwise, we're gonna do this other thing. So if they're not signed in, then we'll show the, the login button if they are signed in, we're gonna show this sign out button. So we can sign out, we've signed out successfully, now we can either log in or we can register, that brings us to this new register page. Okay, so let's log back in as test at example.com and let's make that sign out button look like the sign up button. So I'm gonna just copy the CSS for the sign up button so that it looks the same when we say sign out. And then next to the sign out button, let's add a span that will have the current user.email address 
and that'll tell us just who's logged in, just in case. All right, so if you look at that, that is, uh, it is dark, right? The default text color is black, so we can't actually see it. So we want to change the class of this span so that it looks a little bit better. So we'll just say text white, and that should match the text of our previous like login button or whatever. Okay, so this looks great. Now we see the email of who's logged in. We also see a sign up button, and we have a link to a dashboard. All right. Um, other things that we might do, I think we might want to remove this we are hiring. We'll probably want to update this so that it says, you know, instead of a better, <laughs> um, a better way to whatever. So careers. All right, so let's remove this entire careers page thing, which is honestly, it's very cool. Like I love the look of this, right? Like this is so neat looking. It's got like a badge with like, it almost looks like it slides over and it has this, it's very attractive. I love the call to action. So we're just gonna remove that though. A better way to ship web apps, a better way to, uh, I don't know, like uh, make content or distribute content or I don't know. Yeah, make content. All right, and then this just has a bunch of like lorem ipsum. Start your free trial. This could be an email where you enter it when you click on the button, it redirects you to the registration page. Uh, I think for this start free trial thing, we probably want to hide this if you are already logged in. So what we could do is just say, I don't know, um, if user signed in, if the user is not signed in, then we wanna show this form um, and maybe we come back and actually make the form work later. But for now, since we're logged in, we're, we're just gonna see this dashboard link and otherwise we're, we're not gonna see the form at the bottom. We could also make the button say like, go to your dashboard or something, but whatever. Dashboard, all right, so eventually we want to land on some dashboard where we have access to our dashboard where we can make our content or manage our content or do whatever we, we're, we're planning on doing with that to promote our content. So this is how you might set up a, the landing page. Obviously you wanna go through, update all the copy, the colors, and uh, make it, make it, really make it yours. But for now, this should be a really great starting point for you to go back and update and edit that copy. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.